Hello and welcome to our presentation on top-up courses for the University Centre. I'm going to show you the PowerPoint now. Okay, so a warm welcome. I'm Colette Maudsley, Dean of Higher Education at the University Centre. And I'm Dan Curls, I'm the Academic Lead for Standards at the University Centre. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, so as you can see from this slide, it tells us all about our courses that we deliver within all the faculties that we have um, here at the University Centre. So we've got the Faculty of Creative Industries with all their courses and Faculty of Engineering, Business and Computing and Criminal Justice and also the Faculty of Health and Education. Now top up courses are um, courses that we have here which means that we have um, honours degree uh, programmes so you can see from there from the first slide on Faculty of Creative Industry BA Honours with Visual Merchandising, Promotional Design that's a top up degree so that's a level six. All the others um, that we do um, are on the other two um, slides on the Faculty of Engineering and also Health and Education. So these are really, really good programmes for you to follow because they will actually allow you to go into employment or uh, um, onto future higher education within um, your programme area. Okay, so what do you need? Well, I found Two, two sorts of routes mainly, but there is a third route. So a top-up course is, um, it's the top-up honours level course. So it's your level six qualification. So if you can imagine, um, you, you, you probably used to a foundation degree or a HMD. So they are level five qualifications and they are qual quals to get you into industry, um, usually at supervisory level. Your top up will allow you to get your full honours degree. So in order to get there, we require an entry requirement of either a HND in a related subject or a foundation degree in a related subject. Now, that, that's, we've got a little bit of wiggle room with regards to that because sometimes our students, for example, on creative courses, will do a foundation degree in, for example, graphic design and then decide that they want to do a top up in business because they want to set up their own business. So those students will be interviewed uh, on the business uh, uh, by a business member of staff and then um, the member of staff will make a decision as to whether they can actually join that course. So the student will come out with a foundation degree in graphic design from UCLAN and they will graduate with that and then they will come out with a BA honours in business. Uh, at the moment, it's business administration. We are looking at changing that to business and management in a couple of years' time. So it, effectively, you've got those two courses. And you will know that if you've already got a HND or a foundation degree, a lot of our students will go straight out into industry and will from other institutions as well, and then want to come back to top up. And you don't have to stay at the, the original institution to do that. You can actually move with that qualification. There's also the opportunity of students have got industry experience. So students that are actually um, working at that level within the industry. Um, and we do what we call APL, which is accreditation of prior learning. So we would apply to the university on behalf of you as a student that's um, worked in industry to see whether they will accept um, the student on the top up course. In some cases, it might be that um, the student has to do the level five, which will be the second year of the foundation degree. It depends on the actual experience that's being gained. And the top up degrees are one year full time and two years part time. And that's up to 13 hours class contact time. And again, that depends on the subject. If it's more within the health, um, then it's, it's up to 11 hours with, with um, student support in there. So that's usually over uh, one, one or two days. So where can you go on successful completion? So obviously, as we suggested before, you can go on to graduate level jobs, uh, masters within the topic area that you've actually studied on your top-up degrees. 
and also postgraduate certificates in education, UPGC, which is your teaching qualification. So if you're interested in any of those um, areas to go on to, the top of degrees are really important for you to have before you go on to that journey into your chosen profession. So what's the student experience like here at the University Centre? Well, we would like to say it, it is fantastic. We, we believe it's fantastic. We have student engagement officers that are very much focused on the students, not just about engagement in terms of student questionnaires. It is about they will support students through pastoral as well as academic support. Uh, so we have three student engagement officers that work amongst the HE students and the access to HE students and our FAD also. Uh, we have seven scholarships worth £500 each for students that are progressing from our level five to our level six programmes. And that is via application. We do have terms and conditions that apply to that. Those scholarship students become part of our students' experience voice and they work alongside uh, other students within the college and our open evenings and, and they, they do a fantastic job and it's, re it's a real pleasure to work with them. We have guest speakers and visits and you know we're coming out of a pandemic now and, and that hasn't really stopped us anyway in terms of our guest speakers because we've just switched to online but hopefully our visits will start to kick in again next year and those visits can be local, national or international, depending on the course, depending on what is actually being planned by the course team. We have student friendly timetables. As I said to you before, our timetables, which we keep them quite tight in the sense of um, part time, usually over one day or just over one day, depending on the hours of the programme and full time over uh, two or three days. Um, and that is really so that students ha still have the chance to go out and work. And some of our students um, are mature students and they have other commitments. So we're very conscious when we do our timetables that they are student friendly. We also have a career readiness um, programme, uh, which we've really um, enhanced this year uh, being on lockdown. And we've done an awful lot of um, uh, visits remotely from national uh, industry people and that's been absolutely brilliant and it's basically uh, it's a program to ensure that our students are career ready and that can be anything from cv writing to being exposed to industry guest speakers uh, talking about their journey through um, their career uh, graduate level jobs um, and it's also about the other the other side of that is the support that we put in place as a college and a university centre in terms of mental health and well-being. And we are connected with uh, Mersey Care and the Life Rooms who have a site at our St. Winifred's campus. So they are very much a part of our induction and our student journey. And we believe that if students um, have that support throughout their student life cycle with us, then it will make that transition between the levels and into careers a lot easier. So we're very proud of that. Uh, we also have support in terms of student disability allowance. So we have a coordinator who deals with all of those applications and supports students through that process. In terms of our teaching and learning, we are, we are looking at going back to face-to-face -to -face teaching in September. Um, uh, permitted by the government uh, in terms of um, their guidance at that time but even from September this academic year uh, that's exactly what we did and we had uh, live streaming so that students were engaged either uh, at home or in the studios or in the classrooms uh, from September it was only really during the lockdown that we had to move to full online so we are planning to be face to face in September as we would normally have a, a normal academic year. Um, but there may be elements of blended learning. And again, that will depend on the government. It won't. It is not something that we will be looking at switching to. Uh, so we are planning on being all students on site in September. 
And your degrees come from your HEI and not the college. And it's again, it's just a reinforcement there. There are degrees at the moment. Are all of our top ups are validated by the University of Central Lancashire, and that's where your degree will come from. Okay, we'll now show you um, a picture, uh, a video of our graduation ceremony that took place uh, not last year, obviously, but the year before. So enjoy the video. I'm not sure whether you could hear the sound there. We couldn't, so I'm hoping that you could at home. Uh, so apologies if you if you couldn't hear the sound. So I think we're going to go over to any questions. Okay, so I can see there's a question coming through from Sally. Um, I've worked in the industry for a long time, but I'm not sure whether I would have the skills to go straight on to a top-up course. Would you like to see that one, Dolly? In, uh, in part time? Working with industry. Okay, working in industry is important, especially for the health and education faculty, because if you do work part time, obviously there's an opportunity for you to, to study as well. So you can um, juggle your life between working part time as well as studying part time. So there's an opportunity there for you. OK, so we've got another question from James. Can the top up be studied part time of an evening? We don't necessarily have the, the courses um, run in the evening, James. I think we had an exception for computing a couple of years ago. We tend to infill the part time students in with the full time. Uh, so they tend to be more in the daytime. Okay. Okay, so we've got another question from Sally who has asked, I have a foundation degree that I did a few years ago. Could I still take a course now and go straight onto it or would I need to do a course in between? No, you wouldn't need to do a course in between. If you've got your foundation degree, then that's what we need for you to go on to uh, your top up and whether that's a pass merit or distinction is irrelevant to us because it's the fact that you have got that foundation degree so all you need to do is to um, put an inquiry online uh, through the website and then we will pick that up and it will go straight to the course leader and then you will be invited in to have an interview with that member of staff um, and then we'll go from there OK, so we've got another question from Peter who asks, I have 10 years industry experience in graphic design, but no formal qualifications. Could I, get, could I go straight on to the top up? It, again, it will depend on your experience. So what we have to do is look at your, your whole experience through an interview. At that point then, once all of that's locked down, uh, the member of staff who interviews you with, would link with Della, who would then link with the link tutor at um, either, well, it will be UCLan in this sense, 
um, to see whether there's enough ex enough experience there to allow you to go straight on to that top up. And again, it will depend on um, what skills you have and what you've been doing out in industry. Okay, Maya's asking, does it matter if my foundation degree is from a different university? Could I come to you for my top up? And the answer to that is yes, Maya, you can come from another institution to um, study another programme with us, a top up, obviously. So that's not an issue. You'll go through the same process as what Collette just alluded to by um, obviously applying through online and then having an interview with the um, personal tutor or the course leader for that um, area that you want to study with us. We'll just see if there's any more questions coming through. Okay, so Laura's asking, can I do a top up in a different subject? That will depend on obviously where you, your foundation degree or your HND is coming from and what top up program you want to, to study. So obviously that's a conversation and a discussion you'll have with the course leader to discuss what your options are. So yeah, we're always open to be flexible and see what we can offer you. Okay, so that's the end of the questions, unless you have any more, if you'd like to just pop them in the chat now. Um, otherwise, um, I'd like to say thank you today for joining us. And if you are interested in any of our top up courses, if you go to the website, there'll be a whole list on there and get in touch with us. Um, even if you just want to have an informal chat to start off with, um, our interviews, all of our students are interviewed. And the reason for that is so that we make sure that the course is right for you and you make sure that the court, that the university center is right for you. So please get in contact and it can just be via and informal. It doesn't have to be um, you know, anything too formal. It can just be you're inquiring about a top up course in um, interior design, for example, and we'll be in contact with you. So thank you for joining us today. Take okay. care and stay safe.